pinky brain. Lot of gang, lot of bitches in the icy chain. Why you claim that you rich? That's a false claim. I be straight to the whip, no baggage claim. Whole lot of styles, can't even pronounce the name. You ain't got hey, you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO, or welcome to Taylor XO if you're a new subscriber so y'all it's been so so long since i did a video for you guys and i'm just glad to be back making some content for you guys i mean y'all know that i've done a few compilation videos and i've been on top of the shorts making sure y'all you know catch the latest tea y'all can see all the exclusive clips instead of having to watch through you know all these long long lives that these girls uh put out so you know, I felt like I had to come up here and do a video for this one because it's just been so much going on with Jazzy and Liv. I mean, you have Liv over there who's potentially about to go to jail, not paying her child support. She hasn't had the kids over in a while. And I don't think really anybody's surprised that this is still going the way it's going. I mean, we knew that Gerard was not going to let up on Liv. And we knew that, you know, Gerard was standing on business. We know that uh, Gerard has been standing on business since he has left Liv. And I just think at this point, Liv is just looking for a man, just like her other two baby daddies. That's just going to be like, you know what? I don't want the kids. You can keep the kids. Just I'll pay you your money. And I think that she's mad that Gerard is just not making it easy for her like most baby daddies do. You know, I mean, not most baby daddies, but most baby daddies, they just... You know, they don't even want to deal with the whole baby mama, baby daddy thing. They just want the baby mom to keep the kids and they pay up and, you know, they don't want to do anything more, anything, you know, like picking the kids up or taking them to doctor's appointments or, you know, things that need to be done besides just, you know, handing out money for a child. So I do think that Liv is very upset about that. You know, I think that she's mad that Gerard hasn't tried to make things work with her again. I mean, I know it's been so long since they've been together and she's had two more babies, but I mean, Liv is just this delusional that, you know, she wants to be back with Gerard. She wants to have her family back. And she said that multiple, multiple times. But sis, you now have two other new children by two different fathers. And if she ever thought that Gerard was going to call her back home, she is just out of her mind. But I just wanted to, you know, put that in there because there has been a lot going on with Liv too, but there's also been a lot going on with Jazzy. And I will say that I am kind of surprised that Jazzy hasn't hinted around about a new man or, you know, I'm just surprised because a person like Jazzy, she always has to have a man around her for some type of, you know, like, okay, I have a man, he wants me, you know, just for some type of verification that she's wanted and needed. And I'm just surprised. I mean, you know, some people have said that they think that she is talking to somebody or that she's st that they still think Chris is still around. Maybe that's why she hasn't brought around any new men. And I really do not think that she still talks to Chris. Um, I think that if she still did talk to Chris, he would definitely be over there, maybe doing, you know, at least seeing Le uh, Legend for at least, you know, a few minutes. It just seems like he left Legend high and dry. He has not been back since and he is not going to come back. Uh, she's basically in the same situation as Medusa, you know, the same situation that she left at, you know, for Medusa saying, oh, he tries, you know, he tries, he tries. Girl, that man does not try and he will never try. I think that he is content just being by himself, not having the responsibility of, of all his other kids. I mean, we've seen that he does have some stuff to do with the twins, but I mean, not as much as people, I think, try to say that he does i do think that he comes around the twins but definitely not nowhere near as much as people thought i do think that he doesn't do for them twins as financially as people think too but he might uh but you know his uh the the mother of the twins has came on here and said that you know he definitely does not do that much but he does do somewhat you know i guess more compared to what he does for his other two kids so you know, it's been a lot going on with Jazzy. Also, she's not only, you know, I guess not having a man around and doing it all by herself, but she also just was allegedly evicted. I will say allegedly evicted because she did say that she was evicted, but I just think that she, you know, the landlords were tired of her. They were tired of her mess, uh, tired of her destroying their property, their home, you know, tired of, I guess, getting sent, you know, pictures and videos so-called say that uh, Jazzy said that people are calling her landlord and sending him things of, you know, I guess from her video screenshots from her videos. So I just think that the landlord and his wife now are super fed up 
And I just think that they wanted her out. So they just, you know, broke her lease and just said, you know what, you just need to go. And by her saying that she, uh, that the, the eviction wasn't going to go on her credit, that she was basically going to walk away and not have any uh, eviction or anything for leaving the lease and breaking the lease. So I definitely don't think that she was evicted. I think that, like I said, the landlord and the wife just got very, very tired of dealing with all her shenanig shenanigans that she has going on. Uh, you know, staying in that house. I mean, not only is it dirty, filthy, but, you know, she does have a channel and people, uh, let's just not say that people are calling every day, but I do believe that people have called in the past, maybe. And I just think that, you know, they're all tired of that. You know, it would be so much easier to just move in a tenant that would not only pay on time, but be clean and you don't have to worry about all the extras that come from social media. So, you know, she claims she was evicted, but, uh, you know, she does say that she does pay her rent. Uh, so, I mean, sis, why would you get evicted when you claim that you pay your rent on time? There's no damages. You know, that's another thing. She was, she's been pretty hot, you know, going live, posting in her videos, saying that the landlord is trying to basically harass her for her whole $7,000 deposit and that he needs to use that for the damages that were done uh, you know, to the place. So, you know, it's just so much going on. Uh, she is trying to get her, I guess, full 7,000 back, or she says she wants at least 3,000 of it back, which who knows y'all. I mean, most of the times, and especially the damages that we have seen in that house, I highly, highly doubt that sis will even get $1,500 back, but who knows? I mean, they may come to come some type of conclusion and, you know, maybe I guess they will work it out, but sis, you did do a lot of damage to that house. It was very dirty. You did have, you know, bugs and everything else and mold uh, growing all around that house and going all around that house. So I will be very surprised if the landlord does, you know, come to some type of agreement and does give her uh, half of the de half of the deposit back at least. But my main point of this video really wasn't to get into all about the eviction. You know, she is in her own place now. So, you know, we kind of passed past that. But uh, she is in her new place. I guess she did, you know, end up getting approved for a place. Who knows if her mom did help her. I know she is very close to her mom now uh, within a couple minutes. So, you know, who knows what will happen with that whole thing. Uh, you know, if she'll stay at that place very long or if she'll move to another place. It does not look very big for five kids. Uh, she very much so had to downsize from a house to an apartment. So who knows what is to come of that situation. So let's get into this new situation. I'm going to put a few clips in here because I just feel like, you know, me talking about it doesn't do justice of how this girl treats her, her, uh, her four kids. So let's get into this live that she did. It was a few days ago, about a day or two ago, and she very much was brushing out Ava's hair, all the kids' hair, and I guess they came back from Philip's house, and I guess the hair was matted. She claimed that the kids, uh, or that Philip was putting hair products on top of uh, the dirt that was in Ava's hair and the kids' hair, so she was pretty pissed about it, and she, you know, did not waste any time showing people that she was pissed that she had to do her hair and uh, clean out, you know, all the knots out of Ava's hair. So let's get into that, y'all. On dirty hair. Is it hot? What? I just ride over there. Okay. I did her hair. So I know some people will look at that and say, oh, you're reaching, you're reaching, you know, she just seems like she's tired or, you know, moms are allowed to be annoyed. But y'all, this is coming from Jazzy, the woman that is always annoyed by her kids. She looks like she just hates every minute of it. She can't wait for them kids to get away from her and go to school or go to Philip's house or their dad's house. Like, sis, why are you so annoyed with these kids? You never see them. I mean, in all the times, you know, I, I feel like they're gone even more now that Chris is gone. I mean, they were gone before, but I feel like now that Chris is gone, they're really gone. And I know that, you know, they have the, the schedule set up one week there, one week off. But it just seems like 
she never films when the kids are there. I just never see the kids there. I never really see them involved in the videos as much as they used to be. And I just feel like when she is around those kids, she's just at her worst. She's just so down and out and she just hates every minute of it. And she's even like that around Legend too. But I just feel like especially with the four kids there, it's just too much for her. And I feel like she goes through the same thing that Liv does. Like, I feel like Liv is way more calmer when it's just the two there than it is with the, with the, 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 uh, the three there. Like, it's like they go through the same thing, but yet they talk so much shit on each other. Like, y'all are the same mothers. Like, y'all hate, you know, your four. Jazzy hates her four being around. And Liv hates her three being around. Like, why should a mother ever have this energy being around her kids? Like, especially kids that you go, you know, a whole week at a time not seeing. Like, it's not like you're getting uh, just a day break here, you know, a day break there. Sis, you're getting week on end breaks away from these kids. And you act like when they do show up that it's just the worst thing in the world. So let's get into a little bit more of this live because, y'all, I just cannot believe not only was she just so annoyed, but just how hard she brushes Ava's hair. Like, all her comments under this video or this live was terrible, and she was responding. And her responses to her, her for, to the people that comment under her videos are crazy. She just literally uses any excuse to justify why she treats her four kids like shit. And let's get into this live, y'all. Some more on this one because I'm just like, I like, grease your scalp, but I'm just like, yeah, you greased it, but look at all this build up. You grease a dirty scalp. It's cute outfit. And it's like matted right there where the rubber bands are. Yeah, I'm putting it on there, but I like the conditioner stuff. But it's a detangler. Well, this is the, the curl. This is what I'm putting on the curl. I'm going to try this. Other thing. Is this it? Let's try this. I'm about to try this. This is the moment of truth right here. Okay, so y'all, I wanted to black out Ava's face just because when I do post, you know, I do have the respect of people's children and I just, I don't like posting children's faces on my channel, especially of other kids' faces when I don't even post my own kids' faces. So I did black out Ava's face, but you could clearly see that her hair was so matted and so dirty. It looked like it, you know, has not been washed in so long. You know, like when dirty hair gets like that white film over it, it just looks like dirty I feel like her kids always have like this white film over their hair, not like film, but like, but like a certain just type look that dirty hair has that like you just don't see from kids that have clean hair. And I just was in total disbelief that she was at the same time complaining because Philip had just greased Ava's scalp and greased it and greased it and greased it and didn't wash it. And at the same time as she's saying that, she's spraying in all these products trying to get these braids out. And you see all this hair on the counter. She's just ripping this girl's hair out. It's already fragile and short enough. And she's just ripping it out like it's just like a baby, like a play baby doll's hair. Like it's no care, no effort, no nothing into it. And just looks so disgusted while having to do it. And it's just like, sis, you don't have your kids all week. You know, you have a break. You barely do hair as it is. Like, why are you annoyed? Why are you so mad? Like, why is this girl always so frustrated having to do some hair or do something for these four kids? Like, it just makes no sense to me. And, and you can tell that the kids know she's frustrated, but they try to, you know, play it off like as kids do in awkward situations. But no, like Jazzy makes it constantly awkward for these kids. She constantly, you know, makes it to where these kids feel some type way because they're asking their mother for simple things like feeding them 
and you know doing things for them that regular mothers do that jazzy makes so bad like she just cannot do it she's too tired she's too worn out like sis what in the hell are you worn out from you don't work a real job you don't do anything you barely clean your house you barely take showers you barely wash your butt like you barely put yourself together you barely go to the park and you know take your kids to do things like sis stop acting like you were just so booked and busy and you're miss nine to five and you wash your butt on time every day three times a day like sis you don't do any of that you barely have your kids legend lays around all day with his blanket watching elmo like sis what do you really do to where you're just so tired you just can't do it let's get into a little bit more of this video y'all and then we're gonna wrap this up Yeah. Hey, keep your arms. Switch your shirt now. Don't do that. Uh-uh. You're going to wait. We're going to get ready to go. No. Get out. Why is it going to put a tablet after you get in the gym? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be tech to you. I know that I can see you. Yeah, I see it. What does can kick you? That ain't me. That ain't me. Put me on the couch. That put me on the couch. Mm -hmm. And I hit him. He me back. I always get leave it flat. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all, so my baby girl did just wake up, so bear with me, y'all. But y'all seen the clip of even that video. She clearly was annoyed. She just did not want to be there doing them girls' hair. And if I was Philip, you know, I would come on live and say, look, you know, as much as I don't do for these kids' hair, she does not do for these kids' hair neither. I feel like she just pulls a live. Like, Liv always tries to blame Nisha and Gerard for the kids' hair always being nappy and not brushed when they're over her house i just feel like it's giving that like sis you just want to blame everybody but yourself for you not keeping uh track of your daughter's hair and you know washing your daughter's hairs properly and moisturizing it when it's needed to be moisturized like why is that the father's fault i know if they're over there all week that is his fault but sis i'm pretty sure the the hair wasn't done and washed before the girls went over there neither I, it's giving that you just put you know all the responsibility on philip for the girl's hair and it is three of them and we know that kaylin does still not know how to do her own hair so you know I've, i'm sure philip and hannah do need some help with the hair sis and you're over there doing nothing anyway but laying down talking about oh i'm depressed oh, i'm tired like girl you have nothing else to do and what i also have what i also have realized since the kids been going over Philip's house for a week at a time, I have also realized that the kids seem like they've gained more weight, especially Amaya. I just feel like Amaya has definitely gained some weight, and it's a good thing. I feel like in the past, we know that Amaya has been like one of the skinniest out of all the kids, and I'm pretty sure her, her daddy is feeding her right, Hannah's feeding her right. Uh, we know that Jazzy is still her selfish self with her food and her food stamps, so y'all this live was very interesting to see you know it just shows that jazzy still has not changed with her kids and it was not the result of chris being around and she just didn't want the, the kids around this is a result of a mother just not wanting to be a mother and she just does not know how to control her emotions at this point and it really had nothing to do with chris she just you know doesn't want to be a mother and she low-key knows it but she would just keep you know trying to be one and prove a point to i guess the pe the haters and the trolls on the internet but since we know that you are you know worse off than live but you just don't want to you know say it because uh then you know you'll be then you'll be below somebody as a mother and you'll be at the same level as live and god forbid you know she's god forbid she's under live but she can be a bad mother like sis you're worried about the wrong thing you're worried about you know not being worse than live but you still are almost worse than live like make it make sense but comment down below you guys what you guys think of jazzy's live and this video make sure you guys comment and like and make sure you subscribe because y'all we're on the road to 6,000 followers y'all 
I love y'all so much, my EXO gang, and I look forward to putting out another video for y'all, and we will, be, we will be getting into more of the tea, y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Thank you guys so much, and see y'all on the next one. Woke up this morning, can't remember nothing, this bitch is just flowing from London. And I think I remember they calling me daddy, the mansion was covered in money. Went to sleep with my jewelry and chains on, had to wake up and recount the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Cool with the kid, cop it. Got you. Pull up with a stick, stop it. Stop it. Rich nigga shit, Solid. Rich nigga, oh, honey, pockets riding. Got it. I go to space with the stars. Star. I smoke a blunt on my pilot. Saturn, moon, earth, and Mars. Mars. NASA take off with the rocket. NASA. Half a million on the necklace. Half. No rich nigga, we successful. Say she wanna feel special. What? Make Coco make her feel special.